stirring a boat without a rudder. Uh, that's the thing I like to do. I'm going to give you some tips in case one day you lose your rudder at sea and you need to come home. We'll be using the main sheet traveler in this example, but if you don't have one, you can use your main sail sheet. If you think about a wind vane and its tendency to align into the wind, we call that weather helm on a boat, we'll use the same technique to steer the boat into and off the wind. If you look at the sailboat on the left side, its sails are trimmed. Because these sails are trimmed, this boat will have more lift, and because it has more lift, it will have a tendency to turn into the wind. It will have weather helm. The boat on the right side, on the contrary, his sails are not trimmed, therefore they're less efficient. Since they're less efficient, the boat will have a tendency to veer away from the wind, and we call that lee helm. The video you're going to see next will show you the technique to steer the boat. In this case, we start off with a decent speed. We have set our Genoa as tight as we could and we center the main sail. Of course, this is just an example. We didn't lose a rudder. And in order to be able to show you how to steer the boat without using the rudder, we've locked the wheels and we'll disengage the autopilot. The autopilot is now off, so the boat has no steering. The principle is simple. If you pull the main sheet traveler to the windward side, that's the side where the wind is coming from, the boat will turn into the wind. This is because the sail becomes more efficient. And because it becomes more efficient, it will create more lift. And more lift it generates, the more it will have a tendency to point into the wind. The same thing applies on the opposite. If you release the main sheet traveler to the lead side, the sail becomes less efficient and the boat will veer away. Let's start off by pulling the main sheet traveler to the windward side. Remember, the sail will become more efficient. Because it becomes more efficient, it has more lift, and the boat will have a tendency to point into the wind, weather helm. This can be done even with high seas, as you can see here. See the bow is starting to turn to the starboard side. Now, we'll do the opposite. We release the main sheet traveler all the way to the lee side. What happens is the sail will become less efficient. Because the sail becomes less efficient, it will generate less lift and it will veer away from the wind. If you look at the bow now, you will see that it will veer away from the wind to port side. I hope this can help you and we also hope you never have to do this for real at sea. Good luck.